Good morning, everybody. It is November 2nd, and we're right down here on the pinch point on the creek. It's a super foggy, misty morning. Pretty warm. Really haven't been seeing, like, a ton of movement the last few days on my cell cams, but... Uh, we're out here. It should be, uh go time for these bucks. They should be starting to really cruise, so. Kind of wind out of the southwest, which sets up perfect for the stand right here on this pinch. There's been uh, some does coming through here every morning, so my thought process behind that was, well, you know, any time now these does would be uh, having some bucks cruising behind them, sniffing them up, so. There was a deer that was right in front of me that came through this pinch this morning before I got here, but I couldn't tell what it was on the keen camera because it's so foggy. Well, it's almost 10.30 in the morning and I have yet to lay eyes on a deer, which is unbelievable. It's a little bit warm, but it's still November 2nd. Uh, this is probably the best pinch point on our old farm right here. And no dice this morning. We'll go ahead and climb down and then uh, we'll go check those traps so I can at least give you guys a little bit of something on this video. I think that was the first time I got skunked all year, really. Can only get better from here. Well, we had no action on the first uh, two sets and we just got to this one over here. And you can see a deer stepped right on the trap, it looks like to me. So, we'll reset it and go check the last one. Okay, got the trap re-bedded and reset. Maybe we'll get a coyote to step in there instead of a deer next time. Well, I somehow managed to catch a possum in a coon cuff. That is a first. And that sucker's blind in one eye. Huh. Yeah, possum in a coon cuff. I got a camera set up on this one, so maybe I got the catch on video. Who knows?
We're back up into the tree, everybody. It's the evening of November 2nd. This morning was a total bust. Never saw a deer. Unbelievably. It seemed like that fog would not let go this morning. It was pretty foggy all the way till noon. But I went and uh, did a little bit of a regroup and did some editing and we're back out this evening. We've got a wind out of the south. I'm hunting below the barn. I got some trout cam video of HLB hitting a scrape right out here in front of me on the edge of this cornfield a few days ago. So, you never know. It's like 65 degrees. It's extremely warm, unseasonably warm for this time of year. I figure these deer probably won't actually be on their feet till right before dark. I've been very disappointed with uh, what I've been seeing on my cell cams the last few days. Just very little movement, really all the way around, not even in the middle of the night. Uh, I'm seeing some deer, but nothing like what you would be thinking for first week of November. Uh, you know, that could be a good thing. That could mean November 7th, 8th, and 9th, when this cold front comes, they're gonna be going nuts. Uh, you know, if I had any advice for people looking to take a few days off, that those few days right before Veterans Day weekend here, I think uh, would be the time to be in a stand. That hunting shanty out the other day where I had those two, two and a half year old eight points come up out is about 60 yards to my right over here. I like this spot because I can see the edge of the cornfield and it seems to me after watching HLB all summer and this fall, he seems to like to run the edge of the field. I've got cameras down into the woods and it's almost always right on the edge of the field that that buck's running. So that's kind of why I've decided to be where I'm at right here. This is a stand I missed that big black bear out of. I haven't had any bear activity down here on camera really since then. We'll sit tight and see what happens. Hopefully you guys are having some good luck this week. Just saw a buck down here rubbing a tree. But I could never really tell what it was. I couldn't I could just barely see it through a little hole through the trees. It was a long ways away. I don't even know if I got any on film for you guys, but I was kind of raking a small sapling down there. I don't know where he went from that sapling. I haven't seen him. I almost wonder if I should try to grunt and bring him up here. Problem is, if I grunt, he'll probably circle downwind of me and come in this way. Peg me.
be crying because my reed fell out of my grunt call in my bag. I'm not about to dig through my bag to find it. I can hear a buck working my hanging wide scrape. I was never able to lay eyes on what deer that was at that scrape. And these pines, you can't really see far. But I know there was a buck at that scrape. I could hear it scratching and carrying on. We still got about 15 minutes here. Maybe something will, will happen. We made it back to the house and we're gonna go ahead and wrap this November 2nd up and pretend it never happened because I think this is the worst November 2nd on record for me when it came to seeing deer and buck activity in particular. Uh, it wasn't good. And really looking at this forecast, it doesn't look good for about a week. We've got 70 degree weather coming in the next few days. Uh, who knows, I'll be in the woods, so uh, I'll keep you updated on what I'm seeing, obviously, on these vlogs. Hopefully you guys are having some luck. I actually want to know uh, what you guys have been seeing, if you've been seeing a lot of rut activity where you're at. Uh, if you have, let me know where it's at. If it's in uh, New York, maybe I need to figure out a new spot. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.